Eh, I found a place to feed Bob out of the rain. Good job, Bob. Okay, this little boy is... You're not the nicest cat, are you? You are not. Although, he has let me pet him a few times. I'll get... Well, I can pet him like twice and then he freaks out and doesn't come near me. But he'll let me touch him. And Bob here... Bob here never meows loud. He just kind of... Burrs, and that's about it. But Bob's pretty chill. He's pretty cool. But that other one is an instigator. Anyway, onward. Alright, they just came out from underneath the shed. Good deal. It's let up. It's only sprinkling right now, so they're finally getting a break. But I mean, it was pouring down rain. It's noon at Bobblehead Homestead. I'm Jeff. Today is... Tuesday? Wednesday. Ah, I don't even know. What I do know is it's been raining since 5 o'clock last night, non-stop. It's finally let up a little bit right now. And I've got a river running through my yard. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, let's take a little walk with me. Past the end of the mobile home. Past the fire pits. Where I just, uh, just, just had my inaugural fire and cooked some brats the other day. Uh, you don't need to use much wood if all you're doing is cooking a quick meal. But I want to show you my backyard river. Got a little white water going there. <laughs> Get out the kayaks. No. But seriously, it is. Just a wide swath. And then down there, that's where I was. Um, that's where I was chopping down some brush and picking up trash the other day so hopefully this water would wouldn't it be nice if it just congregated all the trash in one place for me all right now we'll get closer here yeah a bunch of junk over there those were the very first trees <laughs> that I cut down with my chainsaw but yep look at this look at this and that right there is the area where I was picking up trash and stuff okay so this is this is just so useful for this to happen right now so that I can learn learn my property learn what happens when I get heavy rains where I can and can't do stuff so um, you know, maybe this is not the best place for a, for chickens in the spring when there's a lot of rain, perhaps over the winter when there's not much rain or whatever season there isn't much rain, this would be better for chicken paddocks. But <laughs> this is making me seriously think about ducks instead of chickens. I mean, if I could harness, I just think if I had a rain catchment system, I, I would have gotten like a year's worth of free water over the past less than 24 hours. But if I could harness this water, uh, you know, think swales, think, uh, you know, just redirection and permaculture, because it doesn't rain like this all the time. And there's just some massive amounts of water going through my property here nothing I can do anything about it today but I'm getting this footage here and this one I'm gonna have to save so that 
I can understand a little bit about the water flow, although it's not that difficult to tell where the lowest spots are, um, usually. But now I know how wide it gets and just, this is all useful information. And one thing it is doing is it is congregating all of the leaves and smaller stuff. So, you know, come in here with a shovel and a rake and I've got uh, mulch or compost material or what have you. And yeah, I still got still got a lot of trash to pick up over in there. Oh man, there oughta. Maybe it is congregating it for me. And of course Fifi has to follow me out here. And I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, catnip in my pocket. That was funny. I might have catnip in my pocket. But yeah, little Bob here is, and Bob's a boy. Bob likes following me around too. Although I don't know if, if Bob is following me or if Bob is following Fifi. Fifi will follow me everywhere I go. I'll go down to the mailbox and she'll follow me. I will, I've taken a couple hikes to the back of my property and she follows me the whole way and pretty much any time I am outside she's going to be in the area. I just think that's so cool. While I'm out here, might as well get the daffodils and kind of document their growth rate. Interesting, it's really taken off. Hey, photo bombs, Bob and Fifi. But yeah, so those daffodils have, wow, they've like doubled in size since I first filmed them. Now let's. Zoom around back here. And yeah, those are really taking off also. Those have really bushed out. <laughs> oh. What is up with my photo bombing kitties? That is just too Yeah, I couldn't plan this. I I I don't plan any of it. It just happens. <laughs> and yes there are some stuff growing in these tires here that looks uh, very similar to some of the other stuff I got growing Fifi! Hey Fifi! Hey Fifi! Where are the other cats? What are you two doing? Yeah, I heard some howling over here, so I came to investigate. You two just don't get along very well. Will that change if I get you both fixed? And of course Fifi has to come and investigate also. Bob, looks like you're the one instigating it this time, Bob. I can't blame it all on the other one. Yeah, be nice. That's just a weird cat. You're just a weird cat. I don't know how the whole cat sociology goes, but these cats just, they don't get along, but they won't stay away from each other. <laughs> 